Hey, what's up guys? It's Brayden TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the level 4 passes. So these are the, like pretty much the level 1 passes but for um but for the Lost Kingdom pretty much. So these things are actually a lot more um, complicated and more interesting than the regular ones because these ones they can only be conquered by the kingdom that it's in so if a another kingdom wanted to go up here and then build their stuff because they l l like let's say we haven't built enough um we haven't built up to this but this kingdom have because we're not strong enough they can go up here but they can't take our path yet so that means that if we wanted to not be competitive we could just be all farmsville and in here with our passes and just pretty much get the rewards from kvk not trying to be competitive which I think is an actual pretty cool feature to have because that means that uh, for especially Kingdom 1 who's very inactive, um, they can have a little bit more of a, um, where's Kingdom 1? Um, I don't know which one is Kingdom 1, but um, I'm not, I don't mean competitive advantage. I mean they can actually not get destroyed and still be okay. So like if a kingdom is really quiet or, or whatever, they can still, um, they, they can, it's just, um, they can just be in here if they want to, but out of, without talking about that, we are also going to be talking about its skills and how hard it is to defeat this. Now, of course, this is one of the easiest structures. I wouldn't say it is too easy, but like it's been co conquered by a lot of kingdoms and it's not that hard to defeat. Um, but I'm not saying it's easy, but I mean a lot of people have done it, unlike the Crusader Fortress that no kingdom has ever defeated, because I did another video on it talking about how insanely powerful it was. You guys can check that out if you guys want to. Um, but I'm going to be talking about the passes and comparing them to the other structures. So, let's get into my scout report. It is this one. So, it is, um, it has 2,000, 2,500,000 um archer units t5 archer units and of course um archer units are conquered by cavalry so um everyone uses cavalry pretty much so these will be pretty easy for everyone because you just use your classic minamoto sao sao and um, just take this thing out but it's not actually as easy as you'd think because it has some pretty insane skills so it has a direct damage factor of three th three thousand and five hundred so um, just like the Hiraian of Steel, I did a video on this one. You guys can also check that out if you guys want to. Um, it, uh, he has about the same, he has the same direct damage factor, but, um, his skills aren't as strong as the Hiraian. I think, actually, I'll be going through that and I'll, I can make that comparison, but obviously because this one has 3 million troops and this one has 2,500,000, two um, uh, T5 troops, it's, um, it would be obviously less, but um, I'm still going to be talking about its skills and seeing whether it is better. So this one, after a skill is used, reduces rage required from the next skill by 100. So this just means that after a skill is used, then you get like half the time that you need originally to get your skill back. So this is something that is um, is it's pretty common on commanders. It's, it, it isn't that powerful. Um, it's not that out of the ordinary because you see a lot of these on commanders and their uh, talent trees. So this one isn't that powerful, but this one, um, all normal attacks have a 10% chance to heal 1% of the units by this commander. This one is a really weak skill, because 1%, that's like, um, uh, that's actually 25,000 units, and that's only 10%, so this is pretty much nothing. Um, so that skill can pretty much go in the trash because I'd rather have any other skill on any commander other than this one. Um, probably not the Markswoman. She probably has worse skills, but I'm not here to talk about that. But this one is pretty much trash. Um, this one is probably its most powerful skill. So you pretty much have 300 seconds to defeat this thing uh, or else their attack is increased by 10,000%, which is pretty much just a giant nuke on everybody attacking it. So... You guys can just imagine, uh, like, let's say three rallies are on here, and then just after the time runs out, it just goes, and then everything explodes. So, 
you guys can probably just imagine that just a bunch of dead everyone just start running home because the damage got treat increased by 10 ten thousand percent and if they didn't die immediately then you just see a, a huge um spike down of uh of just health it's just going down and right i i can't i can only imagine i haven't seen it for myself and anybody taking this pass but i just imagine that that's what it, it seems like so you pretty much only have 300 seconds so you have to be fast about doing this but because its other skills aren't that powerful well, I wouldn't say it's not that powerful, but compared to these other ones where they have insane skills, and I've talked about those in another video, you guys can check that out if you guys need to. Um, I, as I talked about, I already did, I did that a couple days ago, so you guys can check that out. Um, but it's it isn't that bad because yeah, it's it's its skills aren't um, insane as the other ones I talked about. So this one is probably the weakest uh, out of um the structures um i haven't done a video on what's it called these um these things i haven't done any videos on them i don't know how powerful they are we know these that can't be right these are reinforced oh wait yeah so i haven't done a video on this but i'm assuming they're pretty easy um i could probably do a video on it talking about its skills and uh but if you guys uh did enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new here because I do make daily videos on Rise of Kingdoms and um, and I am do also doing daily videos on the Lost Kingdom which is pretty awesome so you guys should definitely subscribe for that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.